I've been diving the Sea of Cortez for over 40 years, but this is the first time I've been able to dive its entire 800 mile length. The Quino El Guardian was our home from Puerto Penasco to San Jose del Cabo for 12 days. Our guides were experienced and enthusiastic dive masters Juan David and Edgar Gonzalez. The spacious dive deck and camera tables gave us lots of room to get ready, and there were plenty of charging outlets for batteries and electronic toys. Sea lions are the clowns of the Cortez. We visited several rookeries along the way. We encountered whale sharks at Bahia de Los Angeles. They're the world's largest fishes and feed on tiny plankton. An unexpected encounter with a fin whale was one of the highlights of our trip. A close look in the rubble rewarded us with a Gulf Signal Blenny and its spectacular display. Don't get so wrapped up in macro subjects that you forget to look into the blue. You might miss a squadron of eagle rays. At night in Espiritu Santo, our lights attract plankton, which provides a feast for mobula rays. These are the smaller cousins of manta rays, which have reappeared in the Sea of Cortez after an absence of 20 years. This is attributed to a decline in destructive fishing practices like trawling and gill netting. Despite over 40 years of development, it's still possible to get away from it all and enjoy the primeval wilderness of Baja. Very good diving. I shot a bunch of little blennies and gobies, uh, a couple of nudibranchs. It was a great macro dive. It was about 110 feet, the garden eels were everywhere. It was fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Kino's crew took care of our every need. Food was outstanding with a Mexican flair. I want to come back.